Hi there, this is Steve. This is Jeremy. With the Alabama Game. Bringing you an unboxing for November 2017's Loot Crate. What's in the box? What is in the box? First of all, if you want to subscribe to Loot Crate, you can find all the details down below in the comment section. The pricing and all that good stuff is there for you. If you subscribed to this month, which the theme is Unite 2.0, mm -hmm. this is what you can see. Oh. oh, I already see it. Yep, yep, I know what that is too. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so let's first off, let's do this. How about that? Well, Voltron. Oh, I like this. Yep. Oh, and it's the, uh, I like this. This is great. Really like this shirt. Um, this is one of my new favorites that they've done. So yeah. Yeah, I love this. This is great. Legend. It's a Voltron Legendary Defender, and it, mm. it, it looks great. Mm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Like it, like it, like it. Love that. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we don't have a loot tea today to go along with this. Uh, they're running, they're running behind on that. They should. Oh yeah. yeah. Send out everybody emails. So oh, just nice. one t-shirt this time, guys. We'll try to put it on another video or maybe throw a snap up on our Facebook page. Ooh, some Overwatch. We have the Widowmaker nice. in your pop phone cop. Uh, it looks good. I mean, you know, pop. The Funko stuff is not my fave, but, you know, it's still cool, and it's popular. Mm -hmm. uh, is this a multiple thing where you could have got different ones? Or? No, it's it's probably just that. Okay, so because this says a Loot Crate exclusive. Yeah. Um, it's it, The variance, it, the, the variant is the color. Mm -hmm. That's probably the color it was. Mm -hmm. It would have been black and red, but ours has white and teal. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at, yeah, that's the, that's the variation color. Yeah, and, you know, there's things that, you know, I like about it. I just don't like the big head. It's, you know, these things are meant to be kind of goofy looking, but it's just, it's not my thing. But it's still cool. I mean, mm -hmm. people love these guys, yeah. and they make great Christmas gifts. Like we do. buy uh, these these guys for our kids and stuff like that, and they love them. Um, which way do you guys like to display these? Uh, let us know. Just hit us up in that comment. Let us know how you like it. I have oh, found the stuff. very best way to display Funko mm -hmm. Pops. Um, I was looking for, I bought a collection of Ninja Turtle Funko Pops, a whole set, and it had been open to a kid to play with them. They scratched them together. Just, mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, it's fine. I just like them myself. So, um, well, I'm looking for a perfect display case. I couldn't find one. They don't make one. And then someone posted, hey, listen, if you go to Michael's and get a baseball bat display, it oh. opens up and you can put them in there. Yeah. It, my entire collection been there perfectly. Yeah. And it looks like it was custom made for these guys. Wait till you see it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Matter of fact, here's a picture. Magic. Magic of editing. Now get the crap out of it. Yes. So anyway, that case uh, came from Michael's. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you were astute, there is a coupon. If you'll just go online and download it real quick before you, I think it's like 30% off or something. Mm -hmm. it's super, super good deal. So, all right. Next up is a blind box, which I guess not necessarily blind, but it's a Power Ranger. Now, this is one where you could get all different colors. Okay. Uh, because I saw someone on a group that I'm in who's looking for other colors and okay. they didn't have this color they had a different color and guys so, if you get a look great let's know what color you got yeah Ooh, we got the red power ranger it's a tiny little feller yeah uh huh it's does it have a coin it yes it does but it's not a real coin it's a sticker sticker okay. i think actually i don't know what do you think Corner nah, sticker. it's definitely a sticker okay that's what i thought what's cool it about feels these, like it's heavy enough to be a coin though. yeah what's cool about these is that um, the base is all connected to be a perfect circle or a semicircle oh, or whatever. Oh, so when you collect them all. That's why he was wanting all the other ones, mm -hmm. because they connect in that way. Go, go, Power Rangers. And it's like the original from one movie. Did you watch Power Rangers? Uh, it come out at the time. I was like 12 or 13 when it came out. Uh -huh. So it hit me right there, but I only went as far as the green and white ranger. Yeah. After that, you know, when you get your other versions, Turbo and I was too old. Yeah. I didn't grow out of it. See, and that's me. I was like, I was just coming out of the Ninja Turtle phase, and I was done, and I was mm -hmm. moving on to girls. I was going to play with something. Yeah. It was going to be a girl from that point. I was fat then, too. So. <laughs> All right. Next up is a comic book, Ooh. and it is... Oh, a, it's the uh, Justice League. Mm -hmm. It's a reprint of The Brave and the Bold, mm -hmm. number 28. Yeah, it's worth... First appearance of the, the uh, Justice League. Yeah, Listen and they're fighting Starro uh, in that. It's really great. Uh... I believe it's the new frontier is kind of based on that uh -huh. as well because they fought uh, 
I believe they fought Starro, but Starro's what they fight. And Starro's just mentioned in the Flash, if you watch that, uh, Wally, Wally says something about fighting a starfish from another world. So, I mean, and it looks like oh, an old comic. Yes, look at yes. that. And look it, what they did. To, uh, they went back and used vintage paper. Uh, it mm -hmm. feels like an old comic, which is really cool. Look, it has those all those ads, you know. Uh, sea monkeys, That's nice. frontier cabins, all that space shoes, only one dollar. This is mm -hmm. great, man. This Can is a time capsule. Glasses? Oh, I hope so. Mm -hmm. If the Lord is good, <laughs> three glasses for like eleven cents or something. Oh man, what do you think about that? I, I like it. It's really cool. Uh, I don't want to frame it up, um, you know, and display it like that. I really wouldn't want anybody to. Uh, be reading it and stuff. I mean, I'd probably read it once through, but I would probably want to frame it up. There's your high power binoculars that can see up to 18 miles for 50 cents. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you got, I mean, it's just, it's a perfect representation of an old comic book. Does it have the price on there? It does. I'm sure it does. No. Oh, there it is. 10 cents. 10 cents. 10 cents is what these guys used to cost. Mm. Uh, and it's, you know, it's got the comic books code on there. Mm -hmm. It's great. I, you know, I do love it. It's, it's a, a awesome thing here. But yeah, I would definitely frame this up and have it as a decoration. Yeah. You know, you it know comes with it. a certificate of authenticity that says that this is a loot crate variant, uh, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's authentic, authentic reprinting. Mm -hmm. Every page is authentic of uh, the first mm -hmm. uh, first appearance of uh, the Justice League. Mm -hmm. So, very cool. All right, next up is the pen. The pen. And the pen. Well, I'm not sure. It looks like a team, but I don't know. It looks kind of like the uh, raising of a flag of I Iwo Jima. But the one guy kind of looks like Batman, but he has a flash symbol on his chest. You can see it more clearly on your... Must be just tablet. a generic thing. Yeah, you can see it more clearly mm -hmm. there. Um, it's all right, then. It's a pen. I wish it was something more that I knew. Yeah. Um... Uh, and it may be something that maybe I just don't get. It's just a generic super squad. That's what they call it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's nice. It's cool looking, but yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, the the last little bit they include are some give us some more coupons, some coupons, and then a coupon to uh, VFR, which I think is a streaming service for anime and other stuff. Yeah. If you don't do the crunchy row, you're going there. No, I don't do that. Uh, yeah. hey, hey, look, look how cool this is. Uh -huh. What you have here yeah. is uh, the box will turn into that thing. Uh, Zordon. Zordon. I'm getting there. No, I, was, I would never have got there. So thank yeah. you for that. I would have never got there. Um, and then you can put your little Power Ranger fellers. Yeah, like, and you've like already so. got Alpha Five in there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, he's tucked in behind. Oh, me. and you see, he's the exclusive figure that the we got. The DX that we yeah. got from DX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, all right, well, there's one more thing I want to show you, and this was, I always flip these real quick before we get out of anything. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> with every of these loot crates, there is some digital swag. It may be like a free e-comic or something. Mm -hmm. Typically, I'm not into them at all. However, this month has a very interesting, particularly for us, the Alabama Games. By the way, that's what it looks like when it's all put together. Oh, yeah, that's If you can cool. obtain the other fellers mm -hmm. uh, and the girl, uh, that's what it would be. Yes. But... This girls, girls, this two. Which ones? Yellow and pink. You got Trina and Kimberly. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. I stand corrected. Batman, a Telltale series. Uh, you get if you subscribe to Lucrate this month, you will get a free video game, the entire series of the first the first season of Batman. That's pretty cool, guys. The second one's about to come out. All by all indications, it's very very good. Uh, people really like this one. People that thought they wouldn't like Telltale games like this one. So definitely, if you got this. Check it out. And a lot of people say, well, why, if we got it, why would we be watching? Surprisingly, a lot of people who uh, get boxes watch other people open their boxes, which mm -hmm. I think is interesting. All right. So, at the end of the day, we pay for this. Uh, what is it worth? Let's break it down. What do you think? Well, let's start with a pump. Start with the pop. Because it's the easiest easy. thing to look. At. Ten bucks. Exclusive. I'm going to give you an extra... Dollar for that. I would, I would, that's exactly what I was going to say. 11 bucks because it is exclusive. It's exclusive. color variant, and somebody's going to want this because they got the other ones and they did the color variant. Very good. All right. What's next? Power Ranger. Power Ranger. Little blonde box that's not so blonde. What do you think it's worth? $7.50. $7.50? Oh, good Lord in heaven. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's wake up and. <laughs> uh, maybe four. Let's go five. 
Oh, I think that's... Well, you know what? Maybe five because it is made in such a way that someone's going to want it to complete a collection. So Because you've got to unite. Maybe. Yes. So I'll tell you one thing. It does stick with the theme. By the way, Overwatch, if you don't know what it is, it's a video game where you play as a team to take out another team. So it's about United as well. So that's sticks with the theme as well. All right. So the comic, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do okay. because it's a reprint. Um, and like I said, I think you're going to need to frame it. Okay. So... Um, you, I, I would like to frame it. That'd be cool. But, man, it's also just to put your hands on it and the mm-hmm. feel. feel like it's paper. so reminiscent. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like it's just it feels like what it would have felt like back then. I mean, it's not the glossy paper that we're used to. It's someone purposely put paper in Yeah, there. not that I want to go back to that because I, I like the way the comics yes. are now. But to go back and look at these old advertisements, that, some of these I remember. Is this that Charles thing. Atlas? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this is a treasure trove. What do you think it's worth, though? A reprint of a comic like that. To buy that. I don't think you're going to just go out to the store and buy that unless you're a huge Justice League fan. Mm-hmm. And you want the first one. Um, I don't know what you're saying. Five bucks. Authenticity. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. She's right. Uh, director brings up a good point. That it does, in fact, come with a certificate she of authenticity. She did this for that. And if you framed it, you probably frame it like this and yeah. like this. Uh, matted both sides, uh, uh-huh. so it would look great. You know what? Look at that. Can you see that right there? Mm-hmm. It's got. It's even got printed in it a crease. Mm-hmm. So it, I just, it's a special comic. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think it's worth? Uh, I think something like that with the authenticity thing is going to cost you probably close to ten bucks to start with. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say five. You want to split the difference? Maybe 750. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Something actually similar. where I was going to gonna get to uh, there. Okay. It, it's it's polybagged. It's boarded. It's not a thick board, but it does have a board. Yeah. It. It's really thin, actually. But, but if, like I said, you, if you want to display it, you're going to need to frame it up. Yeah. And then uh, our favorite part of this box, so I'm, I, if I can speak for you there, because I'm pretty sure you right. both love Voltron. Voltron is how I knew it was time to go to school because I could watch Voltron, and if friend, uh, the Flintstones came on, I was I missed the bus. <laughs> that's, that, that's a true story. How that takes me back right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, if the television was the clock uh, mm-hmm. before, uh, because the VCR would never work. All right, very good. So what's it worth? Well, we usually go from ten to twenty. Uh-huh. And I think this is going to hit on the higher end. Because I like all the detail. you got a lot of colors in here. you got the characters at the bottom. And uh, did you look and see if they were the newer? They're just kind of 8-bit looking guys, right? Yeah. yeah. It's hard to tell if they're the new series. It says Legendary Defender, yeah. so maybe the... the yeah, it looks one. like the new series. And it has the DreamWorks logo at the top, and so yeah. I suspect it is the new one. So, I, you know, I still like it. It's really cool. And the new series is pretty good. I've uh, made it through one of the seasons. It's kind of hard to... Much stuff going on to try to get, but I'll binge it at some point. Yeah. So I would say we're gonna go around maybe seventeen to the twenty mark, even on this. What do you think? I think maybe it is a short sleeve shirt, uh-huh. maybe seventeen fifty. All right. You know what's interesting to me is like if you look at it, for some reason I'm getting Christmas vibes from this shirt. Right? It does kind of get you know because you got the little stars. Yeah, the- I just it feels like almost like a winter sweater. Yeah. Right. Oh, that would have been great. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, let's do seventeen fifty. All right, and that's that's favorable for them. All right, and last the pin two fifty, two fifty. But the the pin is, eh, you know, it's, okay. you it's guys have made a lot better pins. It's a pin. Mm-hmm. And do you want to include something for Telltale? The place I think you should them? because that is a big deal. I think you should too. So. I think it's probably about nine bucks, but you know, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Seven fifty, five, ten? Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think seven fifty is a good price. All right, let's do seven fifty. Well, that will just knock this one out of the park, absolutely. It's oh my goodness. What we got going on here? Fifty one dollars. Fifty one dollars. That is going to throw the whole balance of the whole box off. And if you do like uh, you know, Jeremy said, you buy it for the year, you can get it for you know, fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah twenty bucks. If you buy it by the month. And you just pay by the month. You get it for around twenty, maybe a little bit more, uh, doing it that way. Uh, and Loot Crate is doing a thing, and they probably do it every year, where you can buy a single box for a gift. Yeah. So you could send, you know, if you got relatives somewhere, you can send them a Loot Crate. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a one-time thing. You don't have to do a subscription. They get a Loot Crate just like that. Yep. And I'm gonna bet that it comes with things in it like. Uh, hey, subscribe to this, and you'll get blah blah blah. Which yeah. I don't blame them. I mean, and it's it's 
Fifty-one dollars, but it also—I mean, you know what I appreciate, and I always look for this. First thing when I open up a box, that I look for is that they printed the inside of the box so that I can turn it around and put it on my shelf with all my other mm -hmm. little kid crap, right? And I mean, it's really neat. You know, it follows in. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, great box. Good great job, box. Luke Crate. Very impressive. You stepping up your game. It's good to see that. So, mm -hmm. uh, anything else? Yeah, just uh, if you guys decide to. Uh if you get one of these for Christmas or somebody gives you one, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you thought of it. If you liked it, does it make you want to subscribe to look great? And thank you to the peeps that watched our channel that did subscribe to some of the boxes because of us. You know, yeah. Just keep mentioning our name when you do that. We do appreciate that. All so right. thanks, guys. So, well, until next time. Next time. Like, subscribe, roll tide, baby. Roll tide.